I think a four point lead is can, should be very concerning. You know, that should be that should be concerning for Biden. That's almost within the margin of error. That's around the same margin where Hillary Clinton uh, was at the end of that cycle. Um, and we know that with the enthusiasm gaps uh, between Biden and Trump and, and and Trump's voters being very enthusiastic and very insistent on voting for him, that 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 our margins that close are problematic. now officially with this interview taking the red hat off so no longer supporting trump the other the, he says what the birthday party because if he wins it'll be everybody's birthday which yeah is. maybe this was on record already that he's like an anti-vaxxer <laughs> he comes out really aggressively yeah. against a potential coronavirus vaccine um to your chagrin he right. loves china yeah he, Talking does. Up he china says i love here. china they change his life and all of this i'm sure he manufactures his sneakers there and that's probably why look i mean again it's, it's very easy to not take somebody seriously or not say, I think we should take it seriously whenever people like this who have massive platforms. Do you have to take him seriously as like a presidential contender? No, no you do not. Not, not right you, now. You should not yeah. because he's not filed. He's not doing anything other than talking. But those words can be powerful. And so that's why we are covering them here. And I, I'll be honest, I, I don't I don't want to take Kanye West serious. I don't want to have to talk about Kanye West at all right now because the world is on fire. Um, I don't think that Kanye West's injection into that conversation helps anybody but Kanye West, frankly. Um, but it does it does pose some threats and some challenges that I think we have to take pretty serious. And frankly, you know, Biden um, has a third party uh, candidate poses a lot of threat to Joe Biden. In a recent article I published with, with The Hill just about two weeks ago, we talked about some uh, a Harvard poll that showed Joe Biden had a 23 point lead with young voters amongst um, against Donald Trump. But when you included a third party candidate in that same race in the same poll, that lead amongst young voters dropped from 23 points to 14 points. And it was a huge shift of, of what they engage activists who, who shifted overwhelmingly away from Biden and towards uh, the third party candidate. I don't think many of those voters are supporting Kanye West, but I do think that, uh, that, that one thing that's represented in that engaged activist cohort of voters um, is a frustration with both parties. It's a frustration with both candidates um, and they are looking for an alternative. And Kanye West doesn't have to win an overwhelming majority of them to change the outcome of this race. If he wins 1% in Michigan and 1% in Wisconsin, then Donald Trump is president. You know, I, I, I've, I've read some of the theories about um, Kanye West and Donald Trump plotting to, to strip away some of the black vote from Biden. And I, I, I wanna be, careful there because I, I just don't think either of them are that politically savvy, um, frankly. But uh, that said, there is a very, very um, frustrated, cynical, disappointed with both parties uh, voter. That's not always a black voter, but it is normally a young voter. Um, we, we, we know that young voters are, are, are much more diverse and so they do happen to be people of color. But I think that, I think that, that, that the characteristic that best defines uh, that group of voters is not their race, but rather their age and their frustration and their cynicism. It is very possible for 10,000 people in Michigan to, who express that same cynicism to vote for whoever is not Joe Biden and is not Donald Trump that they still are familiar with. And that person on the ballot might be Kanye West. If 10,000 people did that in Michigan and in Wisconsin, then, uh, then, then, then Kanye West has 
successfully peeled off a portion of the vote that otherwise would have gone to Biden. Whether or not that's his intent, I'm not sure. I think that knowing what, what I have come to learn about Kanye West and his, um, and his ego, that he actually intends to win. Um, whether or not he has any chance of doing that, I, I think is a different question, but, but he, does, he does stand to change the outcome of this race.